G'day, I'm Fraser Harrison, Agricom's Forage Systems Specialist for the South Island and today we're actually standing in a paddock um, of Lumina Forage Mix. So what we've got here is, is primarily choice chicory and um, and what's around me is, is choice chicory is exactly what you can see. So these, these couple of stems here, um, they're basically ones that are going reproductive, they're more advanced than the rest of the paddock but um, these ones around me, that's where we're, we're typically sitting. So we're actually sitting at about 40 to 50 centimetres here this one here uh, is more about 70, 70 centimetres, so we're um, we're definitely in the reproductive phase of our, of our second year. Uh, this this particular crop was planted 12 months ago, so we've had our first first season of, of production, which is effectively our free lunch um, of production because they won't these plants won't actually start going reproductive until they've been vernalised, which means they have to go through a winter before they'll do so. So that's that's the easy part. We've we've got there. The second second piece is um is actually controlling our grass weeds in that autumn autumn period because if we get to this time of year and we've got grass weeds con to control that be becomes a challenge because chicory is growing like mad as, as we can see uh, and if we need to put a grass herbicide across this to control our grass weeds that straight away means that we've got a three week grazing withhold so in terms of grazing with lambs that becomes a challenge so what we've done in the autumn we've tidied up our grass weeds with our grass selective herbicides and we've also given our chicory a bit of a spell. So if we can give our chicory a, a spell and let at least six true leaves develop on the plant, what that's doing is that's building up our root, root reserves to basically improve our spring production and also the longevity of the crop. So that's we've done both of those things, which has which set it up really, really nicely. The next piece that we haven't done so nicely is actually manage our spring chicory and use the use the um, crop that's come, come away at us. So ideally we would have been in here quite early on uh, in spring and we would have targeted to graze this crop when it was about 10 centimetres tall and what our primary aim there would have been is, is to manage our stem so if we'd, we'd come in here at about 10 centimetres tall eating it down we wouldn't actually be developing these stems and um, and if I actually break one off what, you, what you'll see inside there is that that's an extremely hollow hollow stem and, and it's built up now and, and that, that's quite a significant size stem so we would have we would have stopped that from happening. Uh, we after that initial graze, if we'd left that for ten days to two weeks and come back in and given it another graze, that'll actually reduce the amount of stem production for the rest of the season, which is awesome when it comes to ease ease of management. Uh, but what that means now, so so the game plan from here effectively is how we're going to manage the stem. So we're going to come in here with some animals and 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 graze it right now. And uh, depending on the job they do, we might even have to come in here with a mower and just just tidy it up. So I, we we can do that. The, I guess the negative effect that that can have is, is those hollow stems uh, that's reducing the quality of our forage so our animal performance is going to be slightly reduced but the, the big one is when we come in here with it, whether we graze it or top it, we're going to leave a hollow stem exposed which means if we get a rainfall event or come across with an irrigator, water's actually going to sit inside that stem and there is a risk of rotting that plant from the inside out. There's also an entry point for disease so what we really sh want to do is minimise uh, minimise that happening but uh, but that's effectively uh, our way forward to manage it out of here so hopefully that's insightful um, and look forward to sharing a few more observations throughout the season.